What's going on guys? It's Rich here from the Millibit Tutorials and today we're going to be using Gspread to use Google Sheets as a database, as a backend for some of our Python code. So, you know, let's say you have some data. Um, usually when you have this data, you can use a variety of services, things like Firebase, um, some of the resources in AWS to set up a database, but sometimes that setup process can be a little bit tedious um, and it's a little bit harder to understand and view your data visually. So today we're going to be using a source you're probably already familiar with, which is just a Google Sheets spreadsheet. Um, and we're going to be using Python and Gspread, which is the library that we're using, to actually take our data and put it into a Google Sheet. So without further ado, let's get straight into how we can code Python using Gspread. Okay, before we even start, I want you to create a Google Sheets spreadsheet under any Gmail account um, and just call it email subscribers for now. So um, what our project is going to be is we're going to have a names column and we're going to have an emails column and we're going to use Python code to populate some fake names and some fake emails directly into our spreadsheet. Um, and then we'll go over how we can retrieve that data. So you can tell that this is this is a pretty simple way to use a Google Sheets as the back end, and um, it'll be easy to just visualize it as well by going into the Google Sheets platform. So the very first thing we're going to do is what's called authenticating your account. So um, this basically allows us to give permission to the Python code and say, hey, this Python code is written by me and it's okay for it to edit my spreadsheet. It's the same way you, you know, sometimes you hit share and you share your spreadsheet with different accounts. Instead, think of this as we're sharing our spreadsheet with our Python code. So to do, okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to console.developers.google.com slash cloud resource manager. You should get to a page like this and this is basically how you can um, enable certain APIs to use with your projects. So because we're using Google Spreadsheets, we have to enable the Google um, Drive API and the Google Sheets API. So search up Drive API. And go ahead and click on it. Um, click create project and we're just going to call this project um, G spread. Okay. Um, and then click create. Now go ahead and click enable for the Google Drive API. Now go ahead and type up the Google Sheets API. Click that and go ahead and enable it. So now we've enabled both the Google Drive and the Google Sheets APIs into our project. Um, and what we're gonna wanna do next is create what's called a service account. So this is the account that you're going to share your spreadsheet with by literally clicking share and adding the account. Um, and that account will be associated with your Python code. So we're creating an account and then we're gonna attribute that account to our Python so that the sheet knows, hey, this is Python, and we are allowing it to access our spreadsheet. So go ahead and click on APIs and services, and then credentials. So again, we're doing this because we want to create credentials of an account to share with. And go ahead and click create credentials, and we want to create a service account. A service account means that we're creating an account for our code, for Python code. An OAuth client ID is creating an account for a person to use code, which is a little different. So click, make sure you click service account, and then you can set a name. So you can set gspread account. What it will do is create a service account ID for you. This will be the email address that you share your spreadsheet with. You don't need to make a description if you don't want to. Um, you don't need a role. And now what you want to do is click create key. This will produce a JSON key called credentials.json that you will reference in your Python code. That way, your Python code will be associated with this key that we've made. And now we will share our spreadsheet with that same key. So that might not make complete sense yet, but just stick with me and it'll start making sense. Let's look at the JSON. Um, basically, the JSON file contains what's called a client email. If we share this email, 
using our spreadsheet. And then we keep this JSON file in our Python code and we reference it. The Google spreadsheet will allow that Python file to access its spreadsheet since we've, we've shared it to gspread account. Now we're going to use gspread account in our Python so that we can access the spreadsheet. 